everyone. Uh, welcome to TDL. Today we have uh, Dario Kuntic from Croatia, uh, who is going to give a speech about Taiwan uh, clinched between United States and China. Of course, we are talking about geopolitics here. So uh, Dario is a student at the, the University of Zagreb, uh, political uh, science. He's about to graduate soon, a PhD a student. And uh, uh, Dario, you ready to give your speech now? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay, thank you very much. I just want to express my gratitude to uh, Taiwan uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs because they sponsored my staying in Taiwan for seven months for seven months and they gave me the opportunity to conduct my research like on the field, so to, so to say. And also lots of uh, Taiwanese scholars uh, gave me some advice as how to conduct my research. So I also, also want to express my gratitude to, to them as well. Uh, anyway, the, the subject of my research was uh, the Taiwan clinched between uh, uh, People's Republic of China and the United States. So I want to express uh, uh, my opinion why Taiwan matters to the PRC and the uh, United States. Well, since the Chinese communists won the civil war, uh, forcing the nationalists under Chiang Kai-shek to retreat to Taiwan in 1949, uh, the island has found itself uh, between the United States and PRC. So in the following decades, uh, Taiwan has become uh, one of the major issues that complicate relations between Washington and Beijing. Uh, there are, of course, several arguments why Taiwan is of great importance to the United States. Uh, one of them is certainly uh, an ideological one. Uh, the Americans deeply believe that democracy and prosperity uh, at home depend on continued economic expansion and promotion of its values, such as free market, freedom, human rights, and liberal democracy abroad. So to sustain these values throughout the world is deeply rooted in American ideology and foreign policy. For example, I believe Bill Clinton uh, 10 years ago said that the overriding purpose of the United States was to, ex to expand and strengthen the world's community of uh, market-based democracies. Uh, the values the Americans cherish the most have eventually become a universal form of the majority of humanity and uh, for time uh, in introducing the market economy and the liberal democracy to its society, Taiwan has become a respectable member of the international community, and the United States praised Taiwan for that. Uh, uh, and uh, thus it wasn't surprising when uh, I think the former director of the American Institute in Taiwan uh, said that Taiwan is the only place among Chinese-speaking people that enjoys true democracy and realizes values that the U.S. also stands for, like democracy, human rights, and freedom. And uh, one of the most prominent scholars in, in the world, Henry Kissinger, also said that uh, the Americans have, have always felt strong sim sympathy for the Chinese from Taiwan and their efforts to create solid and democratic foundations for a substantive livelihood. Uh, the United States often emphasizes Taiwan's successful transition from, from authoritarianism to liberal democracy. Uh, and after Taiwan's presidential election in 2008, uh, the United States congratulated Taiwan as a beacon of democracy. Uh, since, since it's rich, liberal, and democratized, uh, some analysts believe that the island would be a role model for mainland China as it is demonstrating an alternative model to Chinese communism. Of course, there is also a question of economic interest. Uh, despite having a small, well, in world uh, terms, small population of just 22 million, uh, in 2011, Taiwan was the 10th largest trading partner in the United States, the 15th largest export destination for the US, and its 10th largest sources of import. Uh, trade in commercial goods between Taiwan and the US totaled uh, more than 60 billion of US dollars. Um, also, the Taiwan's in, uh, investment in the United States totaled uh, around 730 million US dollars in 2011, while UN, US investments in Taiwan totaled more than, more than 600 million US dollars. 
there are, uh, although there are a few issues that proved contentious, uh, bilateral economic relations between the uh, United States and Taiwan has been generally positive. And finally, there is uh, the issue of uh, Taiwan's strategic importance. It is not secret that some US observers, uh, military establishment in particular, accepted the viewpoint of realism and are convinced that the rise of China was as a major challenge to US-dominated unipolar world and threatens the stability of the global order. Uh, starting from the point that the richer country become, then the, the richer country becomes, the more likely can bully other states, they see China's rise as a threat. They argue that the transfer of China's economic power into political and military power will undermine current balance of power in China's favor. Uh, since the United States and China as important just a geopolitical and geostrategic players that have capacity to exercise power on influence beyond their borders are tend to pursue self-interest, their uh, rivalry could end in a military confrontation. Uh, some US observers suspect that China's strategic ambition is to push the United States out of East Asia and become the dominant regional he hegemon akin to a sinocentric order of China's imperial period. Uh, they consider China as, as the country that could become world superpower, accompanied by aggressive foreign policy, contrary to, to US national interests in the region. Some scholars argue that China aims in the near term is to replace the United States as a dominant power in East Asia, and in the long term to challenge America's position as the dominant power in the world. Uh, even uh, former US President George uh, W. Bush called China as a strategic competitor. Uh, so under that paradigm, uh, the main task of the United States is to, to curb China's ambition. Uh, some scholars also say uh, that it is in American interest to coerce, uh, to coerce attempts of any power to gain predominance in Asia. So to balance China's rise as a great power, to control of Taiwan became a matter of strategic necessity for the US. As a regional geostrategic pivot, uh, its sens sensitive location is potentially vulnerable, vulnerable for any power that wants to exercise regional hegemony. Geopolitical pivots, uh, to, say, uh, to explain, are the states uh, whose importance is derived not from their power and motivation, but rather from their uh, sensitive location and from the consequences of their potentially uh, vulnerable condition for the behavior of geostrategic players. Uh, most often geopolitical pivots are uh, determined by their geography, which is in some cases give them a space, special role, either in defining access to important areas or in denying resources to a significant player. In some cases, uh, a geopolitical pivot uh, may act as a defensive shield for a vital state or even a region. Uh, thus, Taiwan became of great importance in the regional balance of power between the United States and China. But due to its uh, strategic position, Taiwan is an important strategic asset for any power that wants to secure the higher ground, so to say, in, in the region and further in the Pacific. Uh, for them, some scholars emphasizes that uh, emphasize that the uh, geostrategic value of Taiwan lies in the fact that the island is a part of the first island chain. It's like a, an arch uh, that stretches from the Aleutians in the north to Borneo in, in the south, that locks the Yellow Sea, South China Sea, and East China Sea. And for the United States, control of the arc means ob obstruction of China's potential expansion from its shores deeper in the Pacific. Without Taiwan, this control becomes much more difficult, some would say even impossible. Uh, for example, uh, uh, scholars mostly emphasize that uh, for now China is contained by proximate chain of I I uh, Iceland, uh, island, uh, um, just stretching from uh, uh, south and from uh, Japan, throughout the Yukus, uh, Taiwan, the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Australia. And to get into the Pacific Ocean, China's naval vessels must go through one of the various choke points between these islands. Uh, if Taiwan were to become part of China, this would change. China's navy would uh, no longer be hemmed in or would be able to extend its reach to the second island chain, the Guam, the Marians, and some other small islands in the Central Pacific. 
Um, thus, Taiwan enables the United States to block China virtually as it gates. Uh, one of the most famous U.S. general, Douglas MacArthur, during the Cold War, referred to the island as an unsinkable aircraft carrier. Uh, so the United States is concerned that Taiwan, in the hands of China, would serve as a main harbor for its naval expansion in Asian waters and further, which could threaten its interest in the Pacific. Uh, scholars often argue that Taiwan's East Coast port would give China submarines a huge benefit. Uh, from Taiwan, they would be able to go quickly get, uh, get into the deep water where they could not be uh, detected and could proceed to the American West Coast to show their wares and threaten to the United States. Moreover, uh, due to its proximity to the Western Pacific sea lanes of communication that run from the Straits of Malacca to Japan, South Korea and eastward, de facto independent Taiwan enables the United States to maintain control of East Asia waterways as, a, as well as China's domestic waterways linking South China Sea to East China Sea. Uh, in that way, the United States can keep China locked on its shores and maintain control of strategic waterways important for the free flow of commerce and naval maneuvers in the case of unexpected crisis. Uh, thus, the United States can much easily secure its influence in this dynamic region obstruct, uh, obstructing, uh, well, by obstructing the China's access to the blue waters gives the United States a strategic advantage in the regional power politics game. Uh, finally, uh, by supporting Taiwan, the United States sends a clear message to the other allies that it will stay committed to their security as well. Although this doesn't mean the unquestioned support, it means that uh, they can rely on US military presence to protect them if needed. Cutting off a uh, U.S. ally would transform the calculus of other allies who might uh, wonder whether the U.S. Uh, commitment to their security is flexible as it was toward Taiwan. Um, for example, former Secretary of State Clinton Clinton a couple of years ago said that one of the most important tasks of uh, U.S. over the next decade will be to lock in a substantial increase in investment uh, in Asia Pacific region. That means diplomacy, economy, strategy, and other ways. And since the United States is willing to remain engaged in the region and keep credible economic and strategic commitments, uh, Mandarin Taiwan would certainly be counterproductive to its interests in Eastern Asia. Taiwan is an important link in the network uh, of US security alliances. Um, one second. As for China, uh, People's Republic of China, of course, uh, perception of the Taiwan issue is fundamentally different than the United States has. Uh, for China, Taiwan is an island that has a deep symbolic meaning. It's a, it's a relic of the century of humili humiliation char characterized by foreign intervention and Western imperialism. Uh, the widespread uh, discontent experienced by modern China is largely, is largely uh, tributable to the continuing memory of the humiliation uh, China suffered at the hands of foreign powers throughout the 19th century and a good part of the 20th century. Uh, as a tangible reminder of China's division and its national humiliation, uh, Taiwan evokes a sense of injustice inflicted by foreign powers. Uh, the concept of injustice is a, is a key to the Confucian influences that shaped Chinese politics since the early Han Dynasty. The students of, of, uh, of Chinese, uh, Chinese philosophy are well, well aware of, of that concept. Uh, to the philosopher Confucius, justice means a proper harmonious relationship within a, a family, within a state, and between states. In the Chinese view today, the outside world over the past 200 years has threatened ch China unjustly has treated China unjustly, and that grievance uh, remains a leitmotif in China's international affairs. Uh, from Beijing's perspective, incorporating Taiwan to the model plan is justified, while existence of Taiwan as a separate administrative authority represents a humiliation and injustice. 
Accordingly, intervention by any foreign power in the Taiwan issue, uh, Beijing considers as uh, interference in its internal affairs, equal to injustice accumulation China suffered during the Western imperialism. Uh, it's important to say that China's memory of this period, as a time when it was attacked, bullied, and torn asunder by imperialist forces, uh, serves as the foundation for its modern identity and purpose. Um, for more than six decades, Taiwan has remained issue of national building and competing conception of, no, concessions of identity between Beijing and Taipei. Uh, both Chinese sides agreed that Taiwan and the mainland were part of the same political identity. The disagreement was about, uh, and still uh, is, uh, about which Chinese government was the rightful, uh, rightful ruler. Uh, the key question about Taiwan is uh, whether, in fact, is uh, an independent nation state or whether it is merely a part of China. And this, this disagreement over Taiwan's identity lies at the heart of the conflict and is what, different, what um, differentiates uh, Taiwan categorically from China's relation with other East Asian, Asian states. Uh, but since the first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, formed the nucleus of United China more than 2,000 years ago, uh, China experienced uh, invasions, dynastic changes, uh, national division, and violation of its sovereignty, but it always reverted to a uni unified state. So Chinese unity as a result is, is equated in China's national consequences uh, with the height of the country's power and prestige while division and disunity are associated with its lower, lowest voice, point of weakness and humiliation. Uh, thus, the recovery on Taiwan to the mainland has become a matter of cohesiveness of the Chinese nation. And this fixation on the cycle of Chinese history has made the recovery of Taiwan seem uh, like a sacred mission. In Beijing's view, uh, as long as Taiwan remained under a separate uh, administrative authority, Receiving foreign and military assistance, uh, the project of founding a new China would remain incomplete. So it is not a surprise that China defined Taiwan as its core interest. Uh, acting as de facto independent state, uh, Be Beijing fears, uh, Taiwan indirectly encouraged separatist tendencies in the region, uh, in the regions on the mainland. If it declares independence, Taiwan could set a dangerous precedent. Under these circumstances, uh, China's existing minority problems are likely to in, uh, intensify because the secessionist movements, from, for example, in Tibet or in Xinjiang, would be further encouraged. Um, mm. Under this condi that these, these conditions, uh, the Yure independent uh, Taiwan could become a serious crack in Chinese sovereignty and territorial integrity. Uh, as out, as uh, outlined in official public documents of uh, the People's Republic of China, to preserve China's independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity are China's fundamental policy goals. And if we put that in military terms, uh, that means defeating any separatist threat within its territories, territories or from Taiwan. Uh, Taiwan issue is also a challenge to its uh, legitimacy or to the legitimacy of uh, the Chinese Communist Party. The downfall of communism held major implication for implications for China. The regime, in Be the regime in Beijing has lost its ideological ideological foundation and tied its uh, legitimacy to keeping China whole. Uh, it is, if it turned out that uh, communist, uh, the Chinese Communist Party is not capable to keep all its territory under its control, confidence in the party would be undermined. Uh, as communism declined as a credible and unifying ideology, boosting China's prosperity, restoring its prestige and structure, stru stature as a great power, and unifying, and unifying the nation, and that is returning of Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan to the motherland became critical measures to the Communist Party's fitness to lead and uh, essential elements of regime survival itself. <coughs> uh, uh, most, most scholars are, argue that for China's leaders, 
the Taiwan issue is is uh, uh, related to national self-respect and regime regime survival. Uh, losing Taiwan would deal a severe blow to Chinese prestige and self-confidence. Uh, Ch Ch Chinese leaders believe that their government would likely collapse in such a scenario. Well, since few today believe in Marxism Leninism, the Chinese Communist Party also seek uh, legitimacy by invoking national sentiments. Uh, there is a little doubt that the Communist Party has been sharpening its identity uh, in a post-communist world by defining itself against the West, uh, feigning nationalist favor and uh, fervor and promising a restoration of China's ancient grandeur. Uh, uh, Chinese nationalism, nationalism is uh, powered by feelings of national humiliation and pride. So the return of Hong Kong and Macau to the motherland was a major event that uh, greatly enhanced the national uh, national confidence of the Chinese people. It has also boosted the power and prestige of the Chinese Communist Party. On the other hand, uh, de facto independent Taiwan enhances the sense of weakness, humiliation, and disgrace. It is also a living reproach to the, P the PRC leadership. Thus, um, the regime in Beijing draws on the emotion of resentment in order to, to, to strengthen the party and the state. Uh, national stability, uh, firm, firm position in world affairs, uh, improved domestic <coughs> economic conditions, uh, also serve as a source of leg legitimacy for the People Republic of China. However, uh, lack of political liberalization, uh, strict party control, corruption, uh, lack of social, uh, of social care, uh, rural urban imbalances, uh, and growing wealth disparities uh, amplify the sense of disaffection among the Chinese people on the mainland. Of course. Uh, despite uh, receiving uh, credit for China's uh, overall economic growth, there is little indication that the uh, Communist uh, Party of China as a, uh, is capable of dealing with some of the social tensions that this growth is creating. Uh, under this condition, these conditions, party-sponsored nationalism, which plays an important role in China's domestic stability, serves as a catalyst for discontent, or discontent of Chinese people. Uh, greater economic integration between the mainland and the island also plays an important role in Beijing's Taiwan policy. Uh, as you probably know, China is Taiwan's the largest uh, trading part partner. Uh, according to some figures, uh, I think some uh, Chinese custom figures, the trade between Taiwan and China amounted to almost uh, 170 billion US dollars in, in 2012. And China is also the island's number one destination for foreign direct, uh, direct investment, which is crucial for, for China's uh, economy. Uh, Taiwan business is uh, investing heavily in the mainland. mainland. I think since 1988, uh, they invested uh, around 150 billion US dollars. So Beijing hopes that the benefits of economic integration will lead to political negotiation of the future state, status of Taiwan. Uh, finally, there is the question of uh, Taiwan's geostrategic position. Uh, as for the United States, Taiwan is of great importance to China as well. Uh, controlling the mainland and Taiwan, Beijing would have a strategic advantage over any country that could strive for a power, power projection in the region. Uh, there was, was one stu study conducted by, uh, <clears throat> by one admiral, uh, and this study uh, was directed to, to the island, uh, to, China's, to, uh, to the island China, China's strategic importance. Each, in which uh, he uh, this study said that uh, Taiwan commands the important strategic waterways, like in the Indian Ocean and the Pacific uh, Pacific Ocean. And, and Taiwan exercised the juris, juris, ju, judicial control not over the mainland island of Taiwan and Penghu, but also over uh, such offshore islands groups as Chinmen, Matsu, Wushu, Prakas, and Spratlis. All of these islands are situated uh, uh, athwart the main sea routes between East Asia and the West, uh, west Wall to the West. Uh, as a dominant regional power, 
China believes that it must be able to maintain strategic advantage or anyone seeking to cooperate close to its shores. Uh, thus, Taiwan will provide the People's Liberation Army with uh, not, uh, naval and air bases and give it a strategic depth that it currently lacks. Uh, the island is also important for PLA's uh, control of Japan's southern flank and the Luzon Strait. Uh, this is the waterway connecting the South China Sea to the Philippine Sea. Uh, controlling the northern and southern waterways, China will have the advantage to settle on its own terms a long-standing territorial and sovereignty disputes with Taiwan, the Philippines, and other Southeast Asian countries. Uh, disputed territories, all parties involved, consider important due to rich fishing areas as, as well as the possible national resources like oil, uh, gas, and, uh, and mineral deposits. Uh, finally, uh, China will be uh, able to project uh, power into uh, the major trade routes through which half of the world's, uh, world's total trade passes. Taiwan would be a truly great strategic asset for Beijing. Uh, this advanced uh, strategic position in, in the region would allow, chi would allow China to expand its uh, sphere of in uh, influence and strengthen, strengthen its position in East and South Asia. And while pursuing uh, economic growth, China is slowly expanding economic, political, diplomatic, and cultural ties with many Asian nations, including Taiwan. However, due to a strong presence of the United States, the regime in Beijing remains deeply fearful of encirclement and uh, ideological subversion. Uh, despite Washington's intent to reassure them of uh, its benign intentions, Chinese leaders are convinced that the United States aims to block China's rise and uh, ultimately undermine its uh, one-party system government. Uh, so many argue that uh, many Chinese officials and elite are convinced that the United States will seek to slow or block China's emergence as a great power, uh, whether, whether by permanently separating Taiwan from the mainland uh, de facto, if not de jure, uh, depriving China of an uh, adequate supply of energy for its development or uh, inducing change in China's political system. Uh, Chinese internal documents commonly refer uh, to suspicions that the United States uh, want to split uh, and westernize China. Uh, Beijing, Beijing's concern extends to U.S. influence along China periphery, in particular uh, the potential for development of anti-China bloc uh, led by the United States or other that may seek to contain uh, Chinese power uh, or inf infiltrate and destabilize China's minority regions. So this divergent perception of Beijing and Washington uh, of the Taiwan issue constitute the main source of instability in, in East Asia. Uh, moreover, Taiwan is the only potential source of conflict between the United States and China uh, for time being. Uh, can you tell me how much time uh, do I have? You can go for <clears throat> three or five more minutes. Three or five more minutes, okay. Because uh, this uh, um, relationship, uh, this tri triangle relationship, is really, really, uh, 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 let's say, complicated, and the history is really rich, and so we don't have time to explain everything, but I just maybe uh, want to emphasize that uh, China, US, and Taiwan uh, was uh, at, the brink, uh, at the brink of war uh, three times uh, during the, during the uh, 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 Cold War period two times, and one time uh, during the, uh, in the 90s. However, uh, U.S. sent some U.S. carrier groups there, deployed some some uh, weaponry, had weaponry there. Uh, China also made some some military moves. Uh, but uh, common interests uh, between um, well China and U.S. in the first place, and of course Taiwan and, and China uh, uh, interests as well uh, helped the situation to come because uh, every side want, each side want to to avoid. A big, big war because that war would be counterproductive to 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 all. Uh, U.S. Uh, usually uh, um, 
define its its politics to to Taiwan uh, that uh, have been, has been have been expressed during the three uh, three uh, communi communiques. Uh, and the uh, uh, U.S. said that uh, they will respect uh, Beijing's one-China policy. It's against Taiwan in, 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 uh, independent status, but also said that it's dedicated to peaceful resolution of the Taiwan of the Taiwan issue. Um, there were some some problems uh, during when uh, uh, D DPP president uh, Ma ying Yu from Taiwan. Uh, um, no, uh, sorry. Uh, when 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 uh, former president uh, um, uh, from DPP uh, Chen, uh, Ma, Chen what was his name? Chen Shui uh, Bian. Uh, yeah. Chen Shui Bian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, said that um, Taiwan will seek to change the political status of the island uh, unitarily, and he emphasized the Washington's. Uh, um, 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 opposition to that, but he said that Taiwan uh, have a right to be independent. But and his proposal caused a great deal of alarm in Beijing, because Beijing was worried that there was a growth uh, in um, sentiment in Taiwan uh, uh, for the independence, and that a new Taiwanese identity is emerging on the island, as opposed to identification with China. As, as, a as a response to independent sentiments and rhetoric uh, from Taiwanese leader, uh, uh, Beijing passed the law that would ban any province from seceding from the People's Republic of China. But the measure was clearly directed against Taiwan. Uh, so the PRC also <coughs> issued a defensive uh, white paper that warned uh, should the Taiwan authorities go so far as to make a reckless attempt to that constitutes a major incident of Taiwan independence, the Chinese people and armed forces uh, will resolutely crash if at any cost. Uh, Beijing has also installed uh, more than 1,000 missiles in, in the island to deter any attempt to declare independ independence. But when uh, Ma Jingyu, uh, I hope that I said it correctly, uh, from Kuomintang to the presidency in 2008, uh, tension, tensions in the Taiwan Strait uh, receded. Uh, he promised further improvement of ties with China, and on the other side of the Taiwan Strait, in, 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 uh, in the People's Republic of China, uh, Beijing was also dedicated, said that he's dedicated to improve relations with Taiwan. So President Hu Jintao, former president of, of China, Hu Jintao, said that China and Taiwan should uh, end antagonism uh, heal the wounds of the past and work together to to achieve. Uh, he said, uh, uh, like he said, the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. So he said that uh, achieving unific uh, reunification by peaceful means, peaceful means, uh, will best serve the fundamental interests of all Chinese, in including uh, Taiwanese. Uh, and. Uh, for for time being, all the, all the relations in Taiwan Strait are not ideal. They are the highest point uh, in decades. However, some still fear that the rise of China threatens the status quo in the Strait. They say that uh, the richer China becomes, the more likely it can bully other states. Uh, but the states in the region, even including Taiwan, are moving closer to cooperation with China on the economic, diplomatic, and political level. Uh, in its uh, new security co concept, uh, China emphasized peaceful coexistence, mu mutual benefit, uh, uh, economic contacts, uh, dialogue among states to increase trust, and the peaceful settlement of disputes. Nonetheless, uh, suspicion about China's uh, real feelings and in intention persists. Uh, although Beijing discards any hegemonic aspiration in the region, uh, history teaches, teaches, teaches us that uh, many rising powers uh, eventually become more assertive than, than before. So the territorial disputes in East and Southeast Asia have shown us that China is ready to show muscles if it feels, uh, if it feels reasonable or justified. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, China will see confrontation with any of the countries in the region that would be contrary to its economic benefits. Uh, however, sometimes prestige can become more important than anything else. History also taught us. Uh, 
that. Uh, however, the United States remain dedicated to the stability in East Asia and, and China respects that for the time being. Uh, China recognizes the unipolar environment in which the United States exercise political, uh, military power and, and uh, political influence in, uh, on the international scale. Also, to, uh, although the U.S. have uh, some economic difficulties, still the U.S. is uh, uh, economy number one in the world and its strength uh, is, is still, still, uh, still important. Um, and since the Obama administration announced uh, its pivot to Asia, it has become clear that the U.S. will remain in Asia for the for the long time. Uh, since the U.S. stands behind Taiwan, the island can enjoy its de facto independence. However, the issue of Taiwanese independence, or the, uh, the U.S. independence, could easily lead to the use of force and a militarized dispute. So thus, uh, I think that Taiwan's status quo benefits to all the parties included, and I think the common interests uh, will prevail. And uh, I think in the next couple of decade, decades, uh, we can say that that situation will 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 become will become uh, peaceful in, in East Asia. In, in East Asia. Although uh, some unexpected uh, uh, um, things could happen, like some mis miscalculation uh, between uh, China and Japan, or maybe Taiwan and, 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 and mainland China, uh, so we cannot say for sure that uh, the region will remain peaceful, but uh, most scholars uh, believe that common interests are, are, are too strong and that can prevent uh, any serious conflict in, in the region for a foreseeable time. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dario.